Hello everybody. Uh, this lecture is about the capstone project. Capstone project is a very, very important component in the academics. When we are doing some course, capstone project plays a significant role in development of appropriate competence, skill set and professional knowledge. So let's understand in this topic that what is capstone project? Why is capstone project important? Why to do this and how to do this? That is very important. So uh, this lecture uh, I'm preparing for my YouTube. I hope you will like it. And when you like this, uh, what, why and how of capstone project, please comment on the comment box. So let's understand what is capstone project. So the capstone project is a final assessment and plays a vital role in preparing students for workplace after completing the academics. You are doing academics, you are studying for a course, you are attending for a program, and at the end of your program, uh, maybe at the end of three years, four years or whatever is the duration of your program, you will get a degree. But that degree carries all your academic knowledge, the knowledge which you have acquired through a number of courses, practicals, experiments, projects, etc. But as a final touch, as a finishing touch, capstone project is a final assignment for which you are required to go somewhere. You are required to spend significant time, probably around six months somewhere, and so that you can get prepared you can get prepared for the work uh, place. That is the real time workplace where you are going to join after your academics. So it also it provides exposure to real world problems, solutions and develops professional knowledge and skills. The, uh, the academic study that is empowering you is to do some tasks, is to solve some problems of society and the industry. So how to do that? What kind of exposure is needed? What kind of appropriate skill set is needed? What kind of professional knowledge is needed? That you will be very easily uh, uh, able to understand when you do capstone project. For this, you will go to some place, go to some industry where you will have some mentor, where you have where you will have some workplace. There you will see the environment. There you'll also learn how the work is handled how the tasks are handled, how the problems are addressed and the, uh, the, the solutions are uh, obtained. Why to do the capstone project? This is very important. What is the significance of capstone project? It prepares for the real world, as I told you. Ultimately, you have to go to the real world after completing your program to do your task, to do your job in the professional life. So it prepares, the preparedness is ensured by the capstone project. It helps build CV and create uniqueness. This plays a very, very important role in your curriculum. It gives a lot of weightage when once you do a capstone project with a good outcome, with a good mentor, and uh, that gives uh, a uniqueness that can create uniqueness in your resume or curriculum. Practical experience, which uh, you do not get such practical experience of real world of that uh, nature that you will be getting when you join to some place where you will see that how practical problems, how the practical challenges are overcome, addressed, and viable solution is, uh, you know, worked upon. That you will be understanding. So the capstone project gives you the opportunity to have practical experience, practical understanding, working with the professionals who are in the similar nature where your interest, your topic, your domain meets. It also develops set of highly expected skills by the employers. We always, uh, you know, uh, say that uh, the employability skills are very important role. And the number of graduates lack in the employability skills. So that highly expected skill set, which is desired by the industry, is also inculcated, is also developed in the students when they go for the capstone project. So the significant uh, 
contribution it makes to your professional career once you do a capstone project genuinely, honestly, and sincerely. Now, what is the most important thing is how to do the capstone project. The, the first question that comes once we decide to do the capstone project is the selection of topic. How to choose a topic? How to select a topic? That is the best, uh, very important question. So, so you will have always develop some uh, you know interest in you after studying after doing some courses some interest would be created in you that this is what i want to do i want to do something on iot i want to do something on healthcare i want to do something on you know ai or ai based solutions something on uh, edge computing so whatever is your interest you have to choose some topic but choosing a topic or selecting a topic is not an easy task so for that what you need to do is literature review if you believe that you want to do something you want to study something you want to work on something that is based on iot for healthcare maybe uh, the internet of medical things so regarding that you have to read a number of literature number of existing research papers articles and then patents which are there by the different researchers and the scientists come across those work and you know study those papers and articles critically you will have some understanding what is the problem in the existing you know world related to iot or medical internet uh, thing and accordingly you can choose your problem that this is the burning problem i want to address and will be your final topic to be worked upon as a capstone project it also you know uh, uh, the the finding suitable place and mentor is also an important uh, thing that once you decide this is your topic based on certain certain literature review you have decided that this is the broad area or the narrow topic which you want to do so on that area who are the people working which are the industries where this similar work is being done practically it's being implemented some problem is being addressed on that area in that area accordingly you can find the people use your social media platform linkedin other platforms reach out to the people write to them request them you know everyone may not respond to you but keep on doing and if you have done some similar research maybe a research paper or some similar minor or major project you know that minor or major project you can post in linkedin or other similar platform and you can say that this is my similar work and i want to do this particular problem so i want you know help from you either from the industry or from the people who are working either in the uh, in the research uh, domains also research universities or research uh, institutes so the people you will be getting through this particular uh, you know uh, mechanism and then do research implement there understand the problem and with your based knowledge programming knowledge and skill set try to you know solve that problem and whatever you decided to achieve there try to achieve in a place where you go under the supervision of mentor and finally once you have done something you might have been you know uh, able to achieve 60% or 70% what you have thought of achieving it it doesn't matter whatever you have achieved report it present it very nicely so this entire process selection of topic reading the literature finding the suitable mentor in place going there doing some work implementing programming understand solving practically overcoming the challenging challenges it will give you great experience of you know uh, and 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 that would help you uh, through uh, you know appropriate skill set and the professional knowledge which you would be acquiring where where you would be doing the capstone project under the supervision of some appropriate you know uh, the, the supervisor or mentor so this is how you can do your capstone project so what is capstone project is the most important component normally at the end of your academics or your program you go to industry or go to some research institute or university for six months choose a topic and do that work identify the problem identify the topic and under some mentor work this and try to address some problem which is there in the existing solutions which are available on that topic are available available on that area bring out that new thing bring out that novelty bring out the work which you have reported and implemented and present it to the society present it to your mentor present it to your institute from where you went to do the 
capstone project. And of course, when you do some work and when you when, when you believe that you are getting good comments, post on your work, post your work on the social media, on the LinkedIn, that may probably again help you in, I'm sorry, in connecting with the industries or the real time world where you can actually, you know, realize your dream of working on similar areas, similar topics. So thank you. I wish you all good luck, best wishes for all those who are aspiring for becoming great professionals and looking at doing capstone project. Thank you. Good luck.